started with the debate. The debate. All that time, all that effort. A friend of mine said, you did a terrible job in the debate. I said, why do you say that everybody said I was brilliant? They said, no, you got him out of the race with that debate. <laughs> it's all right. We have to do what we have to do, right? We have to do what we have to do. And now we have somebody that, in theory, should be easier to beat. In theory, because she's a radical left Marxist, and everybody knows it. But we're welcoming the support from millions of disaffected Democrats, independents, moderates, old-fashioned liberals who still believe in things like — little things like borders. I was there yesterday. That's a scary place. Sir, it's about time that you get out of the sun, sir. We're going to have to get you out of here, sir. Let's get the hell out of here. She was the border czar. She presided over the worst border in history — not American history, world history. Democracy, liberty, and, of course, always the right of free speech. We don't really have free speech right now. The press — look at all of them. Look at all of them. Look at that. Wow. Man. That's a lot of press. That's a lot of fake news. That's a hell of a lot of fake news. Gone forever is the old Democratic Party of FDR, JFK, and — that's right, even Bill Clinton. Kamala Harris's Democrat Party is the party of free health care for illegal aliens, communist-style price controls, defund the police. All her life, she wants to defund the police. A little while ago, she changed, didn't she, huh? Banning gas-powered cars and sex changes for minor children without parental — without parental consent. How about that one? How would you like that? Without parental consent. Can you imagine your kid comes home without parental consent? What happened to my baby? What happened? The true divide in American politics today is between these far-left fascists, led by Harris and her group — and you know who her group is — and citizens of all political backgrounds who love our country, share traditional American values, the values that you have right here in this great state, and look past our differences to unite around a thing called our great American flag. And we should — and we should speak to — we should speak to our great congressmen and congresswomen. They ought to make it illegal to burn the American flag. If you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year, that's all, one year. You burn the American flag. Because in Chicago, at the Democrat deal, they were burning flags all over the place. You burn the American flag. They say it's unconstitutional to do that. I think it's constitutional. You burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. Nobody's going to be burning the American flag anymore. Our opponents worship the deep state.